Hi, I am Abhinay Kumar. I am a master's student at Indian Institute of Technology, Jodhpur, and we are at helicopter lab in the mechanical department in this college. We are working on design of indigenous autopilot system for aerial vehicles, and our aerial vehicles are basically for multi rotors and helicopter configuration of mini size. And this is the system that we are developing. We are developing the hardware and the software architecture as well. We are taking off the self components from the market. and we are integrating them with the microcontrollers and we are writing all the firmware drivers controllers estimation and control algorithm and ultimately we are driving these actuators to stabilize this platform in the mid of the air and to take the vehicle from a point to b point in autonomous mode so the vehicle's autopilot uh, that is the avionic system of the vehicle consists of various sensors uh, the motor drivers the actuators uh, and the communication modules the sensors consist of the navigation sensors that have the inertial sensors as well as gps lidars uh, the inertial sensor consist of accelerometer gyroscope and magnetometer and uh, the navigation sensors consist of the gps lidars and the barometer and all the sensors are uh, fused with each other using the proper estimation algorithm to get the proper estimate of the vehicle and all the sensors are uh, mounted on board on a, a pad uh, that is subsequently mounted on the dampers to damp the uh, to damp the vibration that is coming from the rotors so all the algorithms that is from stabilization algorithm and the navigation algorithm are running on board so prior to the flight we do the rig test and the stabilize the vehicle in the rig and this is the rig in which the angle control is stabilized and right now the vehicle is mounted in the along the roll axis and the vehicle will try to stabilize along the roll axis that will show in the uh, later section of the video similarly once the roll and pitch is stabilized in this axis then we mount the vehicle on that platform and it will try to stabilize the vehicle along the yaw axis once this stabilization achieved then we will fly the vehicle in indoor environment uh, without changing any gains we subsequently change the parameters of the control so that it can stabilize the vehicle in the changing uh, dynamic environment and once uh, this tuning is done from a rig in the indoor environment in the air then we take the vehicle outside in the outside environment then try to fly the vehicle in hover configuration and right now we have achieved all the stability from a uh, rig uh, to the indoor environment to the outdoor environment and the vehicle can hover uh, without any pilot interventions uh, for a very long time until the battery is discharged and the vehicle is also capable of going from a point to b point uh, without any intervention uh, the pilot just have to give the final location using the gps coordinates and the vehicle will try to follow that coordinates and uh, uh, prior to the a development of the all the firmware we have to study the dynamics of the vehicle for that the proper estimation of inflow and the what are the rotor loads generated on the vehicle we have to do a separate study for that so to study one rotor how the loads are generated along all the three axes that means how the forces and moments are varying when the vehicle is moving in the dynamic environment for that we have designed a study and the test rig that she will be explaining on which she will be explaining how the loads are varying along all the axes during the flight Hello my name is Bhanumati CV so to uh, design the control system of multi rotor or rotary wing vehicle we have to do the dynamic modeling and for that we require rotor loads and for that we have designed this experiment in which the rotor uh, is oscillating as well as rotating so the experimental setup have the flexibility to oscillate the platform at different frequency and the rotor can also rotate at different rpms we are using a encoder to measure the angle and we are using force uh, sensor to collect the uh, forces and the moment in all three direction data collected from the force sensor will help us to uh, get the better estimate of the inflow and the uh, rotor loads so the vehicle consists of the avionic system that is mounted on the vehicle on the top of the vehicle and the avionic system consists of the microcontrollers the inertial sensors and the navigation sensors inertial sensors have the accelerometer gyroscope and magnetometer mounted with it connected with it and the navigation sensors consist of the gps uh, the lidars and the sonar and it also have the health monitoring system for monitoring the health of the uh, battery states uh, that gives you visual and audio signals when the battery voltage go below a certain level and then all the programs then and the drivers that are running on the microcontroller interface with all the sensors and do the calculations and uh, command the motors using this motor drivers to rotate at a particular rpm uh, and that rotation speed is given to all the motors 
so that the vehicle can stabilize in the middle of the air and can uh, complete whatever the task that is given to the vehicle and so this is the primary task uh, primary uh, board that we are developing right now this board is uh, for the multi rotor vehicle and then we are trying to implement the same on the helicopter that is uh, kept uh, beside me so this is the board that we are developing and it consists of all the inertial and navigation sensors inertial sensor consists of the accelerometer gyroscope and magnetometer and the navigation sensor consists of the gps the gps is mounted uh, in this box that is mounted above one post and the other sensors also consist of the lidars that are mounted here and the sonar so both the sensors works in indoor and outdoor environment up to this works up to 6 meter this works up to 12 meters and this is the health monitoring system of the vehicle it consists of the audio and visual feedback when the battery voltage go up below certain level and all the programs that are running in this microcontroller that are running on board on board the vehicle and this board can stabilize the multi rotor vehicle that is in quad rotor configuration and then later we are planning to uh, mount the uh, use the same board to fly the helicopter that uh, we have also procured and so this is the system that we are developing now right now we are stabilizing the vehicle along the roll axis uh, this test is necessary prior to the flight so that we can test whether the vehicle is stable along its axis or not so when the pilot gives input along one of the direction along the roll axis then the vehicle have to follow the command so when the pilot doesn't give any input then the vehicle will be in horizontal configuration and when the pilot gives any input the vehicle will tilt to the side corresponding to the stick input so right now we can see that the vehicle can follow the stick input that is given by the pilot and when the input is not given the vehicle will come back to its original position